A controversial project, years in the making, is finally launched today. Back in uh, 2005, a financing plan was approved by Metro in 2013 and 15. We did more reporting on it, and construction was set to start back in 2015. But now, finally, we've got groundbreaking, and Brent Weisberg was there this morning. It's going to be a very nice looking building, a very enduring architecture. It's a 14 story hotel. Dan Mills is the vice president of Mortensen Development, the company tasked with construction. This project is a long time coming. Uh, it's been talked about since the original convention center was built. It's taken years, several mayors and planners to get to today. The $224 million project is expected to draw hundreds of thousands of new visitors to Portland and the state. Uh, we've long heard uh, convention uh, planners nowadays want a, a hotel adjacent to the convention center and by us not having that we've been uh, you know a little bit of a disadvantage. Coin 6 News has learned that 150 million dollars of the 224 million dollar project is coming from the Hyatt Regency. Another $60 million comes from Metro. The agency says it should be able to make up the money in taxes once the hotel is complete. An additional $10 million will come from the state, and the Oregon Convention Center is chipping in $4 million. Officials tell us that once this project is complete, the Oregon Convention Center will likely draw in five to ten new major events each year. Well, it's highly, highly competitive. Uh, cities have really come to understand the economic impact of conventions for their cities is amazing. So that landscape has continued to get more and more competitive. And according to Travel Portland, there are nine new hotels under construction in the city right now.